Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel Rosie Home. Today I am filming a Halloween gift basket video. So every year I make a little gift basket up for my children. This is this year's basket with lots of Halloween goodies inside. I like to give this to them during half term. I normally give it to them at the beginning of the week because it has bits and pieces that they can play with and use over the half term holidays. These are a bit of a controversial item. I know some people think that they are really extravagant and a waste of money, but they're just little bits and pieces that I've picked up whilst I've been out shopping, but added together, they look really quite impressive and it's just really exciting. Like Rosalie loves going down and seeing what's in her basket. And it's just like a little tradition that I have started and now I need to keep up with. This year I am trying to be a bit more frugal and I have reused a few of the items that were in last year's gift baskets, mainly the things for Maeve because Maeve was only five months old then, so she didn't really know what was going on. Whereas now she is much more aware of things and she'll enjoy playing with all the bits that I've got in the basket. So if you wanna know a bit more about all of the things that I have put inside my daughter's gift basket, keep watching. So the first things I'm going to pull out of the basket are these cups. These were from Asda. They were, this one's £1.50 and this one, they were both £1.50. I got this one for Maeve because it's got a lid and this one for Rosalie. Maeve is 17 months and Rosalie is four. So yeah, I think they're going to enjoy having their drinks over the half term period in these cups. I got some spiders web. I planned to have a little Halloween party so I thought that the girls could help me decorate. We could decorate our home all spookily during half term in preparation for Halloween. The next thing I got were these little, oh, all covered in cobwebs, cat lollies. These were actually from Primark and they were only 75p for two lollies. They were a two pack. I separated them because I've got two children so they'll have one each and I thought I'd do it before I put them in the basket so that it saves any arguments. Um, yeah, I just think they're really cute and they're, they're both going to love those, I think. Keeping on the chocolate theme, I got some Halloween sweets. These are like little skeletons, little jack-o'-lanterns, little eyeballs all in there. They're just little chocolates that the girls can eat. I got this for Rosalie. I actually bought this before I saw these other cups in Asda. Um, this is from Poundland and it was a pound. Um, yeah, I thought this would do for Rosalie, but then when I saw this one, I thought she'd like that so much more. So we have this as well. I have bought some also from Poundland, some Casper Ghost Marshmallows. So I thought Rosie could have like a little hot chocolate in here. That'd be really cute. I got these two trick or treat projectors, torches. This one was £1.50 from, from the co-op. And then I didn't get one for me, but I thought I probably should get her one because it will cause arguments. So I saw this one in Wilkinson's. And I bought that one. This one was only a pound. So if you're in the market for a Halloween torch, then I would suggest going to Wilco's because it's 50p cheaper. You do get an extra projector disc with the co-op ones, but I don't think that's worth a whole extra 50p. But um, we had these last year and Rosalie absolutely loved it. She kept it for ages. Eventually we did lose all the little projector bits, but um, it was something that she really liked playing with So when I saw these I had to get them again. I got this Little singing dog. This was six pound from the works and I actually bought this last year for Maeve because she was only a baby There wasn't much I could get for her um, So I didn't want her to be left out But I bought him out again this year and I'm gonna put it in the little basket because I think she's gonna love it This is what it does She loves music and I've actually, it's actually really quite loud. I'll turn him off. <laughs> so yeah, he just sings the Adams Family theme tune. I just think he's really cute and I think Maeve's going to love this. I did actually look in the works today to see if they had any more of these, but in my local works they didn't. They just had lots of Christmas stuff in today, they didn't have any Halloween stuff. So I don't know if they did have them, but they've got rid of them. Um, but yeah, this is quite cute if you've got a little baby or a younger child, um, but you still want to give them something to get into the Halloween spirit. I have this. This is another item from last year. This was from Poundland. 
and it's just a trick or treat bucket but I thought I would put it in the basket so that it all stays together and it makes quite a nice little bag for our little doggy friend so he sits in there that was a pound I picked up this makeup I tried to do this makeup last year and I was absolutely terrible and Rosalie looked awful so I don't really know why I bought this again because it'll probably be just as bad but this was one pound in Poundland and I thought at the very least she'll enjoy playing with it. I got some of these glow-in-the-dark pumpkin teeth. We've recently been pumpkin picking so we already have our pumpkin but I think these are so funny. You stick them in the pumpkin and it's like teeth that glow in the dark. Rosalie is going to absolutely love these when she sees them. The next thing I got was another Halloween book to add to our collection. We've had a few Halloween books over the years. We've got a Peppa Pig Halloween one and a mega mog book i will link those both down below but this year i wanted to get a new one so i got funny bones i remember this as a child i don't know if anyone else does but it's like there was a dark dark town in the dark dark street there was a dark dark house so yeah i really like this story and i like all the pictures so i knew i wanted to get this for rosalie now she's getting into reading her books each night the next item is something i love and it was from claire's accessories and it was a face tattoo they had loads of different designs in there but i chose this one it's got little spiders and then cobwebs around the eye so i'm thinking this was five pounds so it was really expensive but what i'm thinking is rosalie and i can wear an eye each or maybe like two underneath and then the other person can have the other two underneath their eyes um, and then a couple of spiders each so we can share those that was my thinking behind that but I just think they're really cute and I'm going to probably use this instead of the face paint because that was a bit of a disaster last year. I got two packs of window clings from the co-op these are just little jelly stickers really to stick on your window I got one for Rosalie and one for me because even though they are four and 17 months old they still fight if they don't have the same as each other the last thing is this trick-or-treat bag i think this was from poundland again um this is probably a few years old now but i didn't see the point in getting a new one when we've got a perfectly good one at home so yeah that's gone in the gift basket as well so there we are that is it that is all the things i've picked up for the girls this halloween and it's all the items that are going into their halloween gift basket I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it inspires you if you're looking to put together a little gift basket for your children. I normally do these kinds of things for every yearly celebration. <laughs> so if you do enjoy them, then please do subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!